Content Introduction Su Zimo found himself reborn, carrying a stunning cultivation in all his memories from his past life. But what's wrong with the script is, isn't rebirth all about the protagonist? But Lao Zi's setting is a villain. This is a story of a villain gradually becoming the great demon king. In the era of great struggle, the Tao and the Dharma are calling out in unison. The old man of Jinwu Xingzong sat on a fishing platform by the Luan River, and suddenly heard the sound of dragons singing in waves. Three thousand carp knocked at the door of life, transforming into a ten thousand Zhang golden dragon, soaring in the sky like a startled swan. A strong man measures the world on foot, a monk sits in a temple for three thousand years, suddenly realizes, auspicious clouds fall from the sky, and ten thousand cheers come from afar. Blood moon in the dark night, long rainbow breaking the sun. A swordsman carrying a wooden sword turned around and raised his hand, causing every inch of mountains and rivers to break. The ragged beggar in the south of the city, holding a dilapidated willow branch, dares to kill a sect of the three emperors in the holy court. Group ID, welcome to join the villain base, group chat number, 518601237. Chapter 1, Rebirth. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. My crush is an unparalleled protagonist. One day, he will wear a golden armor and step on the colorful clouds. In a highly anticipated situation, he will come and kill me. Yuanyang Continent is a world of martial arts cultivation. It is rumored that there was a mysterious force in ancient times that divided the continent into five parts. Located in the westernmost part of the eastern continent, the giant Jinwushinzong, which governs the surrounding mountains and rivers for thousands of miles, is situated here. Within the Jinwu holy sect, there are white cranes crowing together, auspicious clouds descending from the sky, and the majestic Linquan gushing out into the sky like the sea. A cultivator steps on his sword and travels thousands of miles away in an instant. A strong man swung his fist, and the black iron and martial stones turned into debris in the explosion. The Yen Nan Peak is located in the central position of the Jinwu Holy Sect, with a towering tower towering into the clouds. The white clouds at the summit sway, and mist entangles. Su Zimo dressed in white clothes, more like snow, his broken hair dancing with the cold wind, his eyes deep and boundless. Standing on the edge of the cliff with a thin figure, the gentle breeze made the white clothes sound suddenly. I'm considered reborn now. Su Zimo was shocked, and after three minutes of silence, it was another three minutes. Shouldn't rebirth be just the protagonist's routine? But my horse riding setting is a villain. Su Zimo began to check his own condition, and his current situation should be considered soul piercing. This frail body was unimaginable, and he was convinced that he had returned to the day when he was fifteen years old, just about to start practicing. But this rebirth, he not only has all the memories of his past life, but also. In the abdomen of the body, a round ball condensed from laws floats quietly, with a restrained light and an ordinary surface. But if you carefully examine its interior, you will find that this sphere has its own space, with a myriad of rays of light, small grass exposed in the morning, and the rising sun in the east. The ball is constantly changing, and the power emanating from it only shows a trace, as if it can flatten the mountain below. Su Zimo felt a familiar aura inside the ball, and suddenly, his eyes widened, as if he had thought of some incredible things. The ball was something he accidentally acquired in his past life, and its purpose is unknown for the time being. However, this ball has a special help in tearing apart space. Su Zimo still remembers the day he was defeated, when he integrated all his cultivation in the divine realm into the orb, hoping to escape by tearing through space with the orb. However, he did not expect to be reborn into his youth. He finally understood why he felt a sense of familiarity when looking at the ball. The energy inside the ball was the cultivation of the divine meridian realm that he had integrated into in his previous life. Su Zimo's whole body trembled with excitement. He had confidence that as long as he was given a year, he could use this energy to return to the divine meridian realm. The path of martial arts is difficult. 
difficult as the blue sky. Step by step, clear the sky. Human beings start practicing from the mortal realm, exercising their flesh and blood, polishing their muscles and bones, and refining their skin. Internally train the five organs and six viscera, externally train the skin, flesh, muscles, and bones. After the body is polished, it is necessary to open the body pulse door, communicate with the spiritual energy of heaven and earth, and enter the spiritual pulse realm. Fan Jing, Ling Mai, Ning Mai, Zhen Mai, Kong Mai, Zun Mai, Di Mai, Xing Mai, Shen Mai. This nine realm is called the Ascending Heaven Nine Meridians. Su Zimo looked at the distant horizon, and now he could freely mobilize the energy inside the ball. Even with just one thought, he could complete the refinement of the mortal realm and directly reach the spiritual realm. It's not a problem to absorb this energy within a year and then regain the divine realm. But he is not in a hurry now. Firstly, he is currently in the true martial saint sect, and his father is extremely concerned about his cultivation. He does not want others to discover his abnormalities. As for the second point, Su Zimo is not busy improving his cultivation, he enjoys the current atmosphere very much. Everything is still there, and there is room for redemption. Father, Rohu, Xiao Ding Tian, and the girl standing by the Yanglu River in the wind, tears streaming down her face, crying and telling herself that she wants to live an ordinary life with her. He ultimately defeated everyone, narrowly escaped death, and ultimately lost to the sword of the protagonist Chu Yang. Su Zimo looked into the distance, his white clothes blending with the mist. The wind seemed to be getting stronger and stronger, and there was a hint of madness in his smile. Chu Yang, in my past life, I was just a slightly larger stone as you stepped onto the peak road. Reincarnation old man, the protagonist's golden finger grandpa, I am just an insignificant piece on your chessboard. But in this life, I will step out of the chessboard and hold on to the pieces, using sentient beings as the chessboard, heaven and earth as the chessboard, and hold on to the eternal world. The courtyard where Su Zimo lives is located in the middle of Yen Nan Peak. Along the way, there are medicinal herbs blooming on both sides, blue rainbows intertwined with purple stripes, and auspicious beasts rushing towards the distance, shining brightly. The bright fruits on either side of the spiritual tree, placed in the outside world, are all the bloodthirsty and head-wrenching spiritual fruits that ordinary people compete for. But here, it is just an ornamental object that embellishes the scenery along the way. Su Zimo arrived at the courtyard, and the guard Zhang Zhongtian was waiting far away at the entrance. Young master, the deputy patriarch just sent someone to deliver a message, saying that if you have nothing to do, you should go to his side and he has something to tell you, Zhang Zhongtian said respectfully. Got it, Su Zimo nodded and, accompanied by Zhang Zhongtian, walked towards Qingshan Peak. Three years ago, the current leader of the Zhenwu Holy Sect reached the peak of the Holy Vein Realm due to his cultivation, in order to seek the last glimmer of hope to enter the Divine Vein Realm. He handed over his power to the Deputy Patriarch Su Qingshan, while he went to the mortal world alone, hoping to seek a breakthrough in the ordinary return to reality. From then on, Vice Patriarch Su Qingshan became the largest ruler of the Zhenwu Holy Sect, and Su Zimo was the only son of Su Qingshan. It can be said that he is not an exaggeration to be the crown prince of the entire Zhenwu holy sect. Su Zimo knew that during this period, his father should have talked to him about cultivation. He is only fifteen years old now, just enough to enter the basic threshold of cultivation. Before the age of fifteen, the meridians, five organs and six viscera in the human body have not yet formed, and are relatively fragile and difficult to cultivate. Basically, People from the entire Yuan dynasty began their journey of cultivating immortals at the age of 15. Su Zimo arrived at Qingshan Peak, where the largest ruler of the Zhenwu Holy Sect resided. There were not many magnificent buildings and towers here. Some are just an ordinary wooden house, a slow and clear river, and a middle aged man wearing a green shirt sitting on the ground by the river. Su Zimo stood by the river, quietly watching his father. He didn't speak, nor did Su Qingshan. 
the father and son have a remarkable tacit understanding. For a long time, a gentle breeze in the air seemed to break this rare silence, and Su Qingshan slowly lifted his head. This is a very ordinary middle-aged man, wearing a simple green shirt, and his body does not have much of a heart-palpitating aura. What is the Great Emperor in Chapter 2? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. He is like countless ordinary people in this world, with an ordinary face, long hair scattered behind him, a slight knot on his head, and white hair mixed in between his temples. The only thing that catches people's attention is those eyes, which seem to contain the stars of the heavens. Just one glance, the guard Zhang Zhongtian feels like his soul has been frozen. You should know that he is a strong person in the true meridian realm, but he is still so fragile and vulnerable to a single blow. Indeed, he is one step at a time. You've grown up, Su Qingshan said with satisfaction. Su Qingshan was a bit surprised that his son could remain quiet for so long. The strong must be able to endure loneliness and solitude. Dad, you're getting old, Su Zimo said with a trembling voice as he looked at his father's slightly white hair on his temples. In an instant, all emotions seemed to surge out. In his past life, he made a three-year agreement with the protagonist Chu Yang to fight in the Yulong River, but in the end, he was defeated and thrown into the abyss. My father, in order to seek revenge for himself, devoted all his strength to chasing and killing Chu Yang, but he did not expect the opponent's growth rate to be unexpected. Chu Yang escaped from pursuit after pursuit, then became stronger and stronger. In the end, he held a three-foot green sword and personally killed the Zhenwu holy sect. I heard that in that battle, the clouds moved from all directions, the sky and earth were dark, and the mountains and rivers were shattered. My father was ultimately defeated by the Chu Yang sword. If it weren't for the sudden appearance of the sect leader to save the situation and quell it, my father's life would have been in danger. But also because of that incident, my father couldn't bear the blow, turned pale all night, and since then, he has gone into seclusion in the mountains and forests, with no more news. But no one expected that after falling into the Yulong River, he did not die, but instead gained some opportunities. At that time, he began to practice seriously and was eager to enhance his strength. In the end, he broke through to the divine realm and wanted to seek revenge against Chu Yang. But I didn't expect that the opponent's incredible strength was beyond my own comparison. With so many cards, that battle completely drove Su Zimo's pride into the clouds. Thinking back to the present moment, Su Qingshan handed a token to Su Zimo and whispered, You have reached the age to practice now. Go to the Sutra Pavilion and choose a suitable martial art for yourself. This token can lead to the highest point of the Sutra Pavilion, where there are the true biographies of the four great emperors. As for which one to choose, it's up to you to decide. Su Zimo took the token and nodded heavily. In fact, he had already seen the true teachings of those four emperors in his previous life. But there was no other way, many things had to be put on a show, and he couldn't reveal the secret of his rebirth. Su Zimo still doesn't know how to use that ball. As a father, I don't want to interfere too much in your cultivation. As for which cultivation method you want to cultivate, it all depends on your interests. In fact, everyone has to walk their own path in the end, Su Qingshan fell silent for a moment and explained, You are now like a carriage driving on a cliff. All I can do is remind you not to let the carriage fall off the cliff. As for whether the front of this carriage should head east or west, or north or south, it depends on you to control it yourself. Su Zimo nodded, he could understand his father's meaning. In fact, whether it is the cultivation techniques left by the emperor or ordinary cultivation techniques, there is no difference in the end. Everyone must eventually embark on their own path of martial arts, even if what others leave behind is strong, it will still belong to others and will not fit you 100%. Go ahead, your mother has recently returned to your grandfather's house. I heard that their ten pulse fruit is about to mature, and your mother wants to help you get one, Su Qingshan said with a smile. Practice well and don't let your father down. Disappointed? Su Zimo murmured, 
then nodded heavily. In his past life, he did disappoint his father. At least before being knocked down by Chuyang in the Yulong River, he had little thought of practicing well. He is addicted to the flower virtual world created by alcohol and sex for himself. He is the crown prince of the Zhenwu holy sect, and many people want to shake their tails and sigh like a dog when they see him. He doesn't lack anything, why bother practicing hard when he can live a better life? Later on, he realized that there was no peaceful time in this world, it was just someone carrying the weight for you and moving forward. Leaving his father's Qingshan Peak, Su Zimo walked straight towards the Sutra Pavilion. Yao looked at this behemoth, shrouded in immortal mist, with too much legendary color in its sect. Zhenwu Xingzong is not an ordinary sect, it is also an imperial immortal sect with four emperors. In the vast and boundless history of Zhenwu Xingzong, spanning tens of thousands of years, four great emperors once appeared. What is the great emperor? The strongest of an era. Legend has it that in every era, heaven and earth will give birth to a destiny, and the person who stands out from millions of people and carries the destiny is the great emperor. Ten thousand years ago, the Yuan dynasty was still in a period of wilderness, where humans were like ants, insignificant like dust, humble until death. On that day, a man named Xinwu set out on a journey with a sword. After undergoing a life and death trial, he lit a divine fire, solidified the throne, and carried the mandate of heaven. In the end, the man shouted out from the top of the sky, My destiny is mine. Since then, the era of barbarism has come to an end, and humanity has ushered in an unprecedented era of emperors. And Emperor Xinwu was also the first great emperor of the various emperors, who opened the curtain of this stirring and grand era. We wish to respect you as the strongest, countless people shouted loudly, prostrating themselves on the ground under the authority of Emperor Xinwu. Emperor Xinwu carried the mandate of heaven and ultimately came to the far west of the eastern continent to establish the Xinwu holy sect. On the day of the establishment of the Xinwu holy sect, all directions came to congratulate and pay homage to the world. Countless people squeezed their heads and wanted to join this sect. Countless sects are vying to become affiliated sects of the Xinwu holy sect. Since then, the vast mountains and rivers in the western region have been divided under the command of the Xinwu holy sect, and have continued to this day. Thousands of years later, another man walked out of the Xinwu holy sect. The name of a man has long been forgotten by the world, and what makes everyone tremble in their souls is only the three long knives that the man carries. Slaying immortals, slaying demons, true selves. The man held these three long knives and suppressed the era that belonged to him. He was the seventh great emperor of the era of the emperors and the second great emperor of the Xinwu holy sect. The Three Knives Emperor Ten thousand years later, the third great emperor appeared in the Xinwu holy sect. Emperor Xinqing Among so many great emperors and powerhouses throughout history, Emperor Xinqing is not the most stunning and unparalleled. But his speed is among the top among all the great emperors. In the later period of Emperor Xinqing's reign, this man had a deep gaze at the direction of the end of heaven and earth. Only one sentence remained, I will use my feet to traverse the brilliant mountains and rivers, admire the flourishing life, and swim to the summit of the sun and moon. Then he left, leaving only the figure with too many legends in the dark for the world. Chapter 3, Silence Resolution you are listening at NovelFull.audio. The heritage left by the three great emperors to the Xinwu holy sect has brought it to an unprecedented era of prosperity. But all things in the world have their own laws of development, and prosperity will inevitably decline. In the following tens of thousands of years, the Xinwu holy sect never saw a great emperor again. Although it is still a behemoth, it cannot avoid gradually declining from its heyday back then. Until 3,000 years ago, the appearance of a girl broke all this deadlock. The girl lives in an ordinary small village in the vast mountains and rivers under the command of Xinwu Xingzong. I lived an ordinary life like this for 15 years, until one day, two powerful Kongmi realm warriors were fighting and were seen by a girl passing over a small mountain village. 
That young soul has been planted with the seed of a new world gate. The girl came after her name and wanted to join the Jinwu holy sect, but in the qualification test, she was eliminated due to her ordinary roots and bones. But the girl refused to give up. She knelt at the blue stone steps outside the sect door and knelt like this for seven full days. Wind and rain, scorching sun, not a drop of water in, not a bite of food to eat. At that time, she was just an ordinary person, but she persevered in this agony. The whole person's consciousness is only blurry, and they have not fainted. The firmness of their will is moving. Later, she was still in the Jinwu holy sect, and an external elder saw her pitiful and took her as a named disciple. She is like a frog eager to jump out of a deep well, unwilling to be in a corner. It's also like an ant crawling between heaven and earth, constantly crawling, crawling. Until one day, the crawling ant suddenly stood up, and it was then that people realized, not knowing when, that the ant had grown to the level of the sky. In the era of girls, there were too many stunning geniuses. But in the end, no one expected that a girl with average qualifications would sweep through that era. Empress Hong Tian. This is the respectful title of that girl back then. Among numerous great emperors throughout history, Empress Hong Tian is definitely the most brilliant. She not only shone in her own era, but even in the later eras of several great emperors, she was deeply influenced by the Empress. Empress Hong Tian led the Jinwu holy sect to another prosperous era. Looking back on the history of the true martial saint sect, Su Zimo has a profound vision. He hopes that one day, his name can also appear in the epic brilliance of the starry sky. All the way to the Sutra Pavilion, which is located at the core of the Jinwu holy sect. It has all the martial arts and pulse techniques collected since the establishment of the entire sect. Unlike the grandeur and grandeur imagined by ordinary people, the atmosphere around the Sutra Pavilion is quite relaxed. There are ancient trees covering the sky, spiritual grass laying the ground, road flowers competing for beauty, colorful butterflies dancing gracefully, and scarce medicinal chickens patrolling the surroundings, loosening the soil, fertilizing, and catching insects for spiritual grass and road flowers. The Sutra Pavilion has a total of 18 floors. Standing at the entrance, an ancient and rustic atmosphere greets you. It stands quietly, as if telling people about its tens of thousands of years of history. The color of the attic is a combination of turquoise and light yellow, with a jade palace on Cheongtai and blue tiles and red eaves. On both sides of the eaves are carved various rare and exotic beasts. There are eagles spreading their wings, birds soaring in the air, cheetahs hissing, and wild lions glaring. There was no one guarding the door of the Sutra Pavilion, but Su Zimo could feel a palpitating aura from around him. There are advanced formations arranged around here. Once an intruder is detected, the formation is activated, and even the strong ones in the Holy Vein realm may not be able to escape easily. Su Zimo placed the token given by his father on the card slot at the door, and the elder guarding the Sutra Pavilion would verify this token and then give it permission. The light curtain of the gate disappeared, and Su Zimo walked directly into the Sutra Pavilion. The layout of the first floor appears very simple, with tens of thousands of bookshelves arranged in an orderly manner. The pulse techniques and techniques placed on each bookshelf are shrouded in a faint light curtain. At the front of the bookshelf, there is a small sign with the corresponding book name, purpose, and grade written on it. Su Zimo didn't stop much and arrived at the highest level of the Sutra Pavilion, the 18th floor. The light on the 18th floor appears slightly dim, with only four statues on top. Each of these four statues seems to be in a unique space. Su Zimo stood in front of the statue, looking from left to right. The first statue is a man with long hair hanging down his shoulders. The man is majestic and his gaze is as deep as the sea. His majestic demeanor that dominates the world is irresistible. This is a man who steps on mountains and rivers, shoulders against the sky. The second statue is also a man, giving people an extreme feeling. It's like he gave up everything just to pursue the end of something. Lonely and rebellious, he carried three strange long knives behind him. 
At the moment you see the knife, you can understand that this is a pure swordsman who has been working hard all his life to reach the pinnacle of the knife art. Life under the knife, death under the knife. The third statue has only one silhouette, giving people a particularly ethereal feeling, as if it is right in front of them or as if it is far away in the sky. He walks between reality and the void, only to pursue the ultimate mystery of speed. The fourth statue is a woman with long hair draped behind her, and a thin veil covering her stunning appearance. Her styles are diverse and varied. At first glance, she gives you a feeling of innocence and liveliness, reminding you of a neighbor girl with a ponytail tied in an afternoon, which is the feeling of first love. At the second glance, she seemed like a charming and charming fairy. At the third glance, she looked like a female war god who killed without blinking an eye and was not inferior to women. Her beliefs were firm and her aura was unparalleled in the world. At the fourth glance, she looked like the empress who ruled everything, as if all living beings were just ants in front of her. At first glance, the prosperity and prosperity of the prosperous era were all forgotten and not worth mentioning. Su Zimo looked at the statues of the four greatest emperors in the history of Zhenwu Xingzong, feeling solemn in his heart. In fact, he has no intention of practicing other people's martial arts, as he has already embarked on his own path of martial arts in his past life. But in order to conceal his secret and prevent it from being exposed, Su Zimo still chose the technique of the Three Knives Emperor. He quite appreciates the extreme swordsmanship of the Three Blade Emperor, which can be used for transition. Su Zimo placed his hand on the statue, then closed his eyes, let go of his mind, and worked hard to comprehend. The vast white mist covered everything, and Su Zimo could clearly feel a memory integrating into his memory. This is the technique, silence and extinction decision, practiced by the Three Sabres Emperor. Everything starts with silence, and finally it dies. Originating from silence, ending in silence. After obtaining the martial arts he wanted, Su Zimo prepared to leave. Before leaving, he instinctively glanced at the corner of the Sutra Pavilion, then shook his head and smiled to himself, then turned around and left happily. Chapter 4, Lin Ruhu You are listening at NovelFull.audio Not long after Su Zimo left, an old soft moan suddenly came from the corner. Did this little guy just notice me? It's impossible. Su Zimo walked to the first floor of the Sutra Pavilion and casually picked up a Huangjia pulse technique. The martial arts and pulse techniques of the Yuan dynasty are also divided into eight levels. Universe Universe, Star, Chen, Heaven, Earth, Xian, Huang. The Yuji is the highest, while the Huangjie is the lowest. Su Zimo's pulse technique is called Sword Pulling Technique. This is a very simple pulse technique, with only one move, which is to draw a sword. The pulse technique is simple and rough, with swords drawn and heads falling. As long as your horse is fast enough, the Emperor cannot catch up with you. M. Terrifying. As long as you draw your sword fast enough, the emperor's head can also be chopped off. Su Zimo left the Sutra Pavilion and began to communicate with the beads inside his body, using the power stored in his divine meridian realm to forge his body. The five organs and six viscera in the body, as well as the eight meridians, are all strengthening at a speed visible to the naked eye. Su Zimo's body occasionally emitted a creaking sound. His realm also began to advance rapidly in an instant. On the first floor of the mortal realm. On the second floor of Fanjing. The nine levels of the mortal realm. The realm continued to rise to the ninth level of the mortal realm, and when it was about to open the first pulse, it stopped. Su Zimo was not in a hurry to step into the spiritual realm, as the momentary growth made his foundation somewhat unstable. It should be noted that from a towering building to a flat ground, he decided to go and refine it before advancing to the spiritual realm. Within the Zhenwu holy sect, there is a gravity tower specifically designed for disciples to hone their bodies. The gravity tower has a total of 10 floors, and the gravity on each floor increases almost tenfold. 
Su Zimo was on his way to the gravity tower when he was suddenly stopped by someone. Brother Zimo, wait for me, a chubby little man ran over not far, panting heavily. The little chubby guy has short hair, a candy in his mouth, and his snot hanging at the corner of his mouth. Zimo, why are you here? No wonder I can't find you all day, the chubby little man skillfully flicked his nose and licked the candy with satisfaction. Like a tiger, long time no see, Su Zimo looked at the young man in front of him and greeted him with a nostalgic tone. Little Fatty, whose full name is Lin Rohu, is the grandson of the three elders of the Jinwu Holy Sect and also a mischievous friend who has been causing trouble with him since childhood. Since childhood, Lin Rohu has been his follower and obedient to his words. In his past life, he had always played the role of green leaf to accompany Su Zimo, but in fact, his cultivation talent was not weaker or even stronger than Su Zimo's. At that time, Su Zimo thought it was his arrogant and domineering aura, as well as his handsome personal charm that deeply attracted Lin Rohu and made him admire him. Until the later battle, Lin Rohu stepped forward and used his body to block the deadly sword of the protagonist Chu Yang at a critical moment. He held the young man in his arms, who had already been stained red with blood, and shouted loudly, Why, why? At that time, the dying youth finally revealed the truth that had been following them all along. When the two of them were ten years old, they sneaked out of the sect to play and suddenly met a white tiger with hanging eyes halfway through. At that time, I protected Lin Rohu behind me and stood alone against the white tiger, letting him run first. Lin Rohu asked himself, why protect him? Because I can completely escape from him alone. At that time, I just replied in a particularly plain tone, because we are brothers, I am brother, and you are brother. Brother, brother, brother in front, brother in back, naturally we need to protect you. From that moment on, even Su Zimo himself didn't know, and this chubby young man secretly swore in his heart. Throughout my life, I must protect myself by following my footsteps, even if the sun and moon rotate and the sea changes, I must also protect myself. Upon hearing Su Zimo's words, Lin Rohu was somewhat puzzled and said, What hasn't seen you for a long time? Didn't we just meet yesterday? It's okay, it's okay, Su Zimo smiled and shook his head, saying, I'm going to the gravity tower to practice. Do you want to come with me? Lin Rohu is about the same age as Su Zimo, and it's time for him to practice. Okay, okay, Lin Rohu nodded innocently, as if in his eyes, he would hardly refuse anything Su Zimo asked him to do. The two of them walked towards the gravity tower, and Su Zimo looked at the external image of Lin Rohu. There is a runny nose hanging from the corner of the mouth, and it often shakes around. There is also a candy in the mouth from time to time. After thinking for a moment, Su Zimo reminded, Rohu, can you eat less candy, wipe your nose clean, and pay attention to your appearance? What's wrong with my image? Lin Rohu asked in confusion. Su Zimo believes that young people, who have just started their romantic journey, probably care a lot about the opinions of girls of the same age. He tried to persuade in this way, you should have a girl you like. How could anyone like you like that? Listen to Zimo's words, tidy up yourself neatly, maybe you can win the girl's heart. Why did I want to win her heart? Lin Rohu asked again in confusion. Emotion is a matter of two people, willing to be together. You can't just love each other, can you? Su Zimo said. No, I can force myself to bow, Lin Rohu replied. A twisted melon is not sweet. I know, but it quenches thirst. Wokeo, you're a ghost, right? Su Zimo stopped and felt a bit messy in the wind. Why do you talk so seriously and nonsense, but I inexplicably feel it makes sense and cannot refute it. The two of them arrived at the gravity tower, which has an elliptical appearance and a building design that resembles a pagoda. The two of them walked inside, and many disciples were already practicing inside. Of course, the cultivation of the gravity tower is not free either. Disciples need to complete tasks to earn contribution points, and then consume contribution points in exchange for time spent practicing here. 
However, as Su Zimo and Lin Rohu, there is definitely no shortage of such contributions. The first layer of the gravity tower increases its gravity by twice, and then goes up, almost increasing it by ten times. Chapter 5, Liao Ruyin You are listening at NovelFull.audio At this moment, inside the gravity tower, there are disciples sitting cross-legged, struggling to operate their techniques. There are disciples dancing with a sledgehammer, and others carrying huge rocks, doing frog jumps around. As soon as Su Zimo and his wife walked in, they felt a huge force surging from all directions. Su Zimo is okay, this tremendous force only made him move a bit slowly, but it didn't hinder him. But for Lin Rohu, it was as if he had been hit by a high-speed carriage, and his whole body was crushed to the ground, almost gasping for breath. Don't think about using your body to resist gravity, Su Zimo reminded on the side. Take a deep breath, let your body adapt to this gravity first, then relax your mind, search for the trajectory of gravity, and integrate your body with gravity. Upon hearing Su Zimo's words, Lin Rohu quickly closed her eyes and took a few long breaths before slowly adapting. Not long after Su Zimo used gravity to refine his foundation, a group of disciples surrounded him. The leader of this group of people was a young girl, who walked up to Su Zimo with high spirits and high spirits like a group of stars. She asked, Su Zimo, Lin Rohu, what are you two doing here? Are you trying to cause trouble again? Su Zimo glanced at the girl, who was the granddaughter of the elder of the Jinwu holy sect, Liao Ruyin. What's your concern? Su Zimo replied calmly. That's right, the mother-in-law family likes to meddle in their own affairs, and Zimo will not marry you in the future, Lin Rohu also shouted on the side. The Grand Elder and the Deputy Patriarch Su Qinshan have been at odds. When the Patriarch left, the Grand Elder always hoped to hand over power to him. Unexpectedly, in the end, Su Qinshan gained power, and the Elder always held a grudge in his heart. In recent years, two forces have naturally emerged within the Jinwu holy sect. One faction is the young and strong faction led by Vice Patriarch Su Qingshan, and the other faction is the elder faction led by the Great Elder. At this moment, Liao Ruyin heard Su Zimo's words and angrily said, Su Zimo, if you have the ability, let's have a competition. I'm not interested, Su Zimo yawned and waved his hand, saying, just play and don't disturb my cultivation. If you're afraid, just say it. As long as you give up, I'll let you go, Liao Ruyin said proudly. Su Zimo shook his head helplessly, the other party was like a spoiled little princess. That's right, the granddaughter of the elder, who is not desperately trying to curry favor. What's the difference between this and her past self? He said slowly, I'm not afraid, but there's usually a bet in the competition. Can you come up with a bet that satisfies me? Liao Ruyin fell silent for a moment, then pondered and said, If you win, I'll tell you a secret. That's not possible, Su Zimo quickly shook his head and said, Who knows if your secret is useful to me? What if you want to tell me that you have been secretly in love with me? Upon hearing Su Zimo's words, everyone in the audience laughed loudly for many years. You're shameless, Liao Ruyin blushed and pointed angrily at Su Zimo, saying, If you win, I'll tell you that my grandfather's medicine road holy chicken was born with two chicks a few days ago, isn't it a match? Emum. Su Zimo's head was covered in black lines and he said in silence, I'm suddenly not interested in your secret anymore, why don't we switch to a different one? Lin Rohu beside him heard the words, holy chicken of medicine, and his eyes widened. He licked his lips and his eyes rolled, seeming to be pondering something. Yao Dao chicken is a rare species of rare bird that is difficult to buy in the outside world. They have a great caregiving effect on the fairy field elixir, which can fertilize, loosen the soil, and catch insects, just like a perfect gardener. And the holy chicken of medicine is even more of the best among medicine chicken. Just like the hegemon among beggars, although still a beggar, its level is completely different from other ordinary seductive sluts. Yao Dao Holy Chicken grew up taking spiritual medicine from a young age, and every piece of meat and every drop of blood in their bodies contains a strong spiritual energy. 
It is said that the first time a mortal takes the meat of a medicinal Taoist chicken, one chicken can increase its lifespan by one year. What bet do you want? Liao Ruyan asked hesitantly. I heard that your grandfather's mount, the dark heavenly tiger, had an affair with the reincarnation heavenly ox a while ago and gave birth to a litter, Su Zimo chuckled and asked. What do you want to do? Liao Ruyan asked cautiously, my grandfather said he would give these brats as gifts to others, but I dare not move. I want two offspring of the dark heavenly tiger, Su Zimo said directly. If you don't agree, then forget it and there's no need to compete. Besides, you have always been your grandfather's precious little one. It shouldn't be a big deal to secretly take two young black tigers. In your grandfather's eyes, are you not as important as two cubs? Who said that, Liao Ruyin quickly replied, my grandfather loves me very much. I, 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 okay, I promise you. That's fine, what do you want to compete with? Su Zimo asked with great interest. It's easy, let's have a fight, and the outcome is clear at a glance, Liao Ruyin replied with a smile in the corner of her eyes. It's unfair, Lin Ruhu shouted beside him. You started practicing body quenching half a year ago. Zimo has just started practicing, so how could he possibly be your opponent? What are you talking about? Liao Ruyin glared at Lin Ruhu and revealed her little tiger teeth. I have a way, I'm not sure if I can be the referee, a voice came from the second floor of the gravity tower. Everyone looked up and saw a man slowly walking down from the upper level. The man was dressed in a blue robe, with a resolute face, a high nose bridge, all his long hair wrapped around his head, and a long green sword hanging from his waist. Senior brother Zhong Exian, Liao Ruyin quickly ran over happily upon seeing the man's arrival. Junior sister, People outside are dangerous. Try to avoid contact with those who have ulterior motives, Zhong Xian replied with a smile. Su Zimo glanced at the other person, who was the eldest disciple passed down by the elder and known as the flowing light swordsman in the martial arts world. The disciples around saw Zhong Xian's arrival and quickly approached to greet him, regardless of whether they knew him or not, just wanting to get familiar with him. What method do you have? Su Zimo asked lightly. Don't worry for now, Zhong Xian smiled calmly and shook his head, saying, Ruyin promised you earlier that if you win, she will give you two offspring of the dark heavenly tiger. But what if you lose? You haven't mentioned your bet yet. If I lose, I will unconditionally fulfill something I can do, okay? Su Zimo replied. Okay, if you lose, I won't make it difficult for you. As long as you learn three dog barks in the sect, how about that? Zhong Xian chuckled lightly. Chapter 6, I Report You are listening at NovelFull.audio It's so adult now, why are you still so childish? Su Zimo shook his head helplessly and looked at Zhong Xian with a smile, Okay, I promise you. He can understand the other party's thoughts. His father is the deputy patriarch, and to some extent, what he has lost is also his father's face. I have a yellow level pulse technique here, Zhong Xian said lightly. You too can each learn a pillar of incense time. When the time comes, it depends on who has good comprehension and who is more proficient in using the pulse technique, even if the one wins. Okay, I have no objection, both Su Zimo and Liao Ruyin nodded. Subsequently, Zhong Xian took out the Huangjie Pulse Technique from the Neiji, which was called, Flying Swallow Saber Technique. Liao Ruyin's eyes lit up when she saw her pulse technique. In fact, she has been practicing a pulse technique since six months ago when she began to refine her body and cultivate the mortal realm. Just a while ago, she finally cultivated this pulse technique to a subtle level. In the Yuanyang continent, each pulse technique is divided into four levels, subtle, mysterious, far shore, and perfect. The pulse technique practiced by Liao Ruyin is precisely this book, Flying Swallow Saber Technique. Zhong Xian smiled faintly at Liao Ruyin and said, If you don't have any objections, start practicing now. There's no need for such trouble, 
Su Zimo shook his head and casually flipped through his pulse technique. Let me borrow your knife and use it, he said to the disciple watching the commotion next to him. With a resounding sound, the long knife was pulled out of the scabbard, and Su Zimo grabbed the handle and lightly scratched it in the air. Everyone felt a mysterious feeling passing before their eyes, and the long sword burst out with a sword aura of over one meter long. Everyone felt as if there were swallows chirping softly in their ears, and the sword aura in front of them turned into a flying swallow in the air. The air was split into a white mark, and then the flying swallow disappeared. Su Zimo handed the knife back to the nearby disciple and smiled at Liao Ruyin, Come on, please start your performance. The atmosphere at the scene was quiet for a while, but only then did someone mutter in an uncertain voice. Is that the true meaning of martial arts just now? Has he already cultivated the flying swallow blade technique to a perfect level? Everyone was in an uproar, only a perfect level of pulse technique could evolve into the true meaning of martial arts. Liao Ruyin looked at Su Zimo without saying a word for a while, you're all done. How can I compare myself to someone who steps on a horse? If you think a stick of incense has too little time, I'll give you one day. As long as you can understand more than me, even if you win, Su Zimo smiled and said to the stunned Zhong Xian, What do you think of senior brother Zhong? Ah, Zhong Xian quickly regained his composure and forced a smile, It's pretty good, but I think it focuses on the process. What everyone has gained, the result is actually not that important. Damn it, if the results are not important, then the competition itself is meaningless, Su Zimo said mercilessly shaking his head and sighing. Senior Brother Zhong, it's not worth it that you are still the chief disciple of the Grand Elder. You don't even understand such simple principles. I don't know if it's your own foolishness, or if the Elder's teaching method is too conventional. Master leads the way in, and cultivation relies on individuals, Zhong Xian replied coldly. Junior Brother Zimo, if you have any problems, you can come to me. You don't have the right to insult my master yet. Whatever you want to say, Su Zimo shook his head and smiled, I just care about my two dark tiger cubs. When will they be delivered? Zhong Xian fell silent for a moment, then turned his gaze to Liao Ruyin. The dark heavenly tiger is an imperial beast, and even if the entire true martial saint sect doesn't have many, the young ones of those dark heavenly tigers have already been planned by the elder to be given as gifts to some people. Therefore, Zhong Xian dare not make unauthorized claims about this matter. If you can't do it, just say it out loud. I don't mind, Su Zimo replied with a faint smile. But there are some people who can't afford to play and don't play, so as not to lose face with our Zhenwu holy sect. Thinking back to the glory of Emperor Zhenwu in the past, although we cannot surpass our ancestors' glory, please do not disgrace us. That's right, if you can't afford it, don't play. It's a waste of others' time and energy, Lin Ruhu said as he assisted. A great emperor once said, time is money, time is life, and wasting others' time is seeking wealth and harming life. You don't need to criticize me, I'll give up. I promise you that I won't go back on my bet, Liao Ruyin blushed and shouted, then turned around and ran away. Brother Zimo, are we going too far? Lin Rohu pulled Su Zimo's shoulder and looked at the direction Liao Ruyin was leaving, quietly asking. Is it excessive? Su Zimo smiled and shook his head. Firstly, what he had no intention of causing trouble was that Liao Ruyin took the initiative to provoke him in order to humiliate herself. Secondly, Liao Ruyin had already learned the book, Flying Swallow Knife Technique, and Zhong Xian took it out for a competition. Isn't this dirty method even more outrageous? Thirdly, I am a villain. The kind of person who just glares at me and kills your entire family is outrageous. What's wrong? Zhong Xian gave Su Zimo a deep glance and quickly chased after him. Bullying a girl is not a skill, suddenly a discordant voice came from the crowd. The voice was very low because there were too many disciples gathered here and Su Zimo couldn't even hear who made the sound. Who's chewing on his tongue behind his back? Lin Rohu widened his eyes and asked as he looked at the crowd in the field for many years. 
For many years, you look at me, I look at you, all shaking their heads in tacit agreement. I hate people chewing their tongues behind their backs the most. If you have anything to say to your face, like a man, Su Zimo walked forward with a light smile and said to everyone, I know, some of you must have heard who said it just now. Well, if anyone tells me who the person who chewed his tongue just now is. In the future, you can follow me and become my person. My people. Ah bah, how come it's easy to misunderstand when you listen. You are my subordinate, yes, you are a lackey. As soon as Su Zimo finished speaking, he saw someone raising their hand next to him. Zimo, I'll report it. It was him who chewed his tongue just now. Yes, it's him chewing his tongue, I heard it clearly. That's right, he has a good relationship with me on weekdays and often criticizes you. I guarantee it with my personality and integrity. At this moment, the teenagers in the field were completely boiling, as if they had all transformed into detective princes. All the spearheads point towards the disciple wearing a white robe in the field. The boy who was reported now had a bewildered expression on his face, and he also relied on the large number of people to dare to discuss a few words. I didn't expect there to be such a naughty operation. These people, in order to be Su Zimo's dog legs, turned into licking dogs one by one. Chapter 7, Beating Yuya You are listening at NovelFull.audio Licking the dog until the end, there is nothing left in the end. The young man looked contemptuously at the others, his face full of indifference. Who are you? Su Zimo walked up and asked. My name is Chui Yuan, and my grandfather is the elder of the inner gate, Chui Yaoguang, the young man said proudly. Lin Rohu slapped the back of the young man's head and shouted, My grandfather is the third elder, and I haven't even spoken. When will the grandson of the inner sect elder be so awesome? In the Zhenmu holy sect, since the leader left, Su Qing Shan, the deputy leader, should have the greatest power. Then there are the seven elders, followed by the inner gate elders and the outer gate elders. Why did you hit me? Chui Yuan said defiantly, if you have the ability, do it with real knives and guns. Do you want to compete with me? Su Zimo asked with a smile, do you have any bets that satisfy me? Yes, let's fight directly, without trying any intelligence, Chui Yuan said. He started practicing as early as a year ago and has now opened the first pulse, reaching the spiritual realm. He belongs to the outer disciples of the Jinwu holy sect. If you win, I can mortgage this dragon ball to you, Chui Yuan took out a dark yellow ball from the ring. There are many patterns on this sphere, which looks very disorderly and mixed. Su Zimo didn't initially care, but when he saw the ball, he was completely stunned. In his past life, there was no place to find iron shoes, but in this life, it took no effort to obtain them, Su Zimo snatched the ball and excitedly placed it in front of his eyes, observing for a while before finally confirming. He looked at Chui Yuan and asked, where did you get this bead? Su Zimo's fiery gaze startled Chui Yuan, and the young man stuttered, this is what I found while playing by the river in the back mountain. Very good, Su Zimo nodded satisfactorily and said, this bead is now mine. But we haven't had a competition yet, Chui Yuan quickly said. What's the point of trying? If Zimo can ask for something from you, it's because he looks up to you, Lin Ruhu said with wide eyes on the side. You bully people, Chui Yuan took a step back in fear and said wrongly. Get out of here, Su Zimo waved his hand and looked at Chui Yuan, saying, play along, or else we'll beat you up later. You wait, Chui Yuan burst into tears and ran towards the outside of the gravity tower in tears. Su Zimo is not afraid either. This is a matter between children, as long as it is not too extreme or life-threatening, adults generally do not interfere. And as a qualified villain, going back and grabbing things is a common occurrence. Do you expect a villain to compete fairly with you? Are you shitty? Jinjian Zhu, perhaps no one knows the secret of this pearl yet, but Su Zimo is clear about it. As one of the strongest trumps of the previous protagonist Chu Yang, he suffered greatly from it. 
Putting away the prison bead, Su Zimo spent the whole day practicing in the gravity tower. The double gravity of the first layer could no longer satisfy him, so Su Zimo climbed directly onto the second layer. Because the gravity of the second layer is twenty times that, the difference between the two is too large, and the sect is afraid that some disciples cannot withstand such a large gravity. I added some gravity on the stairs from the first floor to the second floor, from three to four times to nineteen times, and it happened to be twenty times the gravity when I climbed the second floor. Su Zimo sat on the stairs from the first floor to the second floor, which happened to be ten times the weight. After practicing like this for a whole day, Su Zimo finally took a long breath as the sun set in the western mountains. The foundation in his body became increasingly solid, and he exhaled a long breath of white air, preparing to advance to the spiritual realm in the next few days. It was already late, and after bidding farewell to Lin Rohu, Su Zimo did not return to the Yen Nan peak where he lived. But accompanied by the guard Zhang Chong Tian, they arrived all the way to the Divine Weapon Pavilion of the Zhenwu Holy Sect. He wants to choose his own weapon. Knives, spears, sticks, swords, halberds, axes, and axes, eighteen types of weapons, Su Zimo still remembers the words his father once said to him, every weapon has a soul, never treat it as a cold tool. In fact, many powerful weapons have been with each other since the moment they first embarked on the path of martial arts. There is a mutual fate between the pulse maker and the weapon. You choose it, and it also chooses you. It is your companion on the path of martial arts, not a tool for killing. A true pulse maker can activate the spirituality within the weapon, allowing the weapon's spirituality to recognize you. Only in this way can you truly have your own weapon. The Divine Weapon Pavilion has a total of ten floors, and on the Yuan Yang continent, the level of weapons is actually the same as pulse techniques and martial arts. Divided into eight levels, the universe stars, and the sky and earth are dark and yellow. The first floor of the Divine Weapon Pavilion is filled with ordinary artifacts made of high-quality materials. Many disciples may wonder why the forging master insists on lowering the quality of earth-level weapons, even better heavenly-level weapons, even though they are made of high-quality materials. Many disciples of the Jinwu Holy Sect may not understand this issue, so when choosing weapons, they usually start from the second level of the Divine Weapon Pavilion. The second to ninth floors of the Divine Weapon Pavilion contain eight levels of weapons, including the Universe Stars, the mysterious yellow of heaven and earth. On the tenth floor of the Divine Weapon Pavilion, there are all the authentic artifacts left behind by emperors from various dynasties after their ascent. Emperor Jinchi followed the emperor throughout his life in battles, and when the emperor carried the Mandate of Heaven, their weapons were also tempered by the Mandate of Heaven. Its power is much more powerful than Uji's weapons. Su Zimo did not choose the weapons with high levels, he went directly to the place where the mortal artifacts were placed on the first floor. Young master, the weapons here are all ordinary tools that have not been refined with spiritual energy. What's the use of choosing them? Guard Zhang Chong Tian asked in confusion. It is precisely because they maintain their most natural state that I choose them, Su Zimo explained with a smile. A piece of rough jade that has not yet formed will be given to you for polishing. Whether to abandon it or make it a valuable gemstone depends entirely on the skills of polishing and carving. Su Zimo sighed and said, a priceless art piece. People all like high-level weapons of the cosmic and cosmic levels, but in fact, many weapons have evolved bit by bit from ordinary objects. They have never accompanied those periods when weapons were weak, how could those advanced weapons recognize them? Su Zimo knew a blacksmith in his past life, and that old man only made ordinary weapons in his lifetime, never producing weapons of high quality. He told Su Zimo that if a weapon is a universal level weapon from the moment it is fired, it has not gone through the stages of ordinary tools, yellow levels, and mysterious levels, and its spirituality is destined to be incomplete. Chapter 8 Shadow Overlord You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The weapons on the first floor of the Divine Weapon Pavilion look ordinary and unremarkable. They do not shine brightly or show their sharpness, 
but are simply placed in an ordinary manner. Su Zimo walked in, and there was a faint smell of rust in the air. The disciples of the Jinwu holy sect rarely come here to choose weapons, so many ordinary weapons made on the first layer have become dusty on the surface due to too much time. At the entrance of the first floor, an old man was sleeping on a lounge chair. He watched as Su Zimo and his companions arrived, glanced with interest, and then said, you can pick any weapon inside. Each person can only pick one. Just let me know when you leave. After the old man finished speaking, he rolled over and continued to sleep with his eyes closed. What's your attitude? Zhang Zhongtian said angrily. It's okay, Su Zimo shook his head and gave the old man a deep glance before walking in. He didn't have too many choices and walked directly to the corner of the wall, where a wall was hung with a dense array of weapons. Knives, guns, and sticks, which are rarely heard of by ordinary people, are all kinds of weapons. Su Zimo's gaze was drawn to an inconspicuous knife in the bottom left corner of numerous weapons. The knife is five feet long, with sharp edges and a slight curvature on the blade. Holding it in hand, it weighs more than ten pounds, and the handle is separated by layers of grid ripples, making it very heavy when held in the palm of the hand. That's it, Su Zimo picked up his knife and walked towards the old man at the door under the surprised gaze of guard Zhang Chongtian. The old man was awakened and seemed reluctant. He glanced lightly at the curved knife that Su Zimo had chosen and said, All right, it's yours now. Get out of here quickly and don't disturb my old man's sleep. Su Zimo nodded without saying much, wrapped the scabbard around his back, and then left. By the way, its name is Baing, the voice of the old man behind suddenly came over. Baing, of course I know, Su Zimo smiled at the corner of his mouth without looking back, and his figure gradually disappeared into the breeze. Su Zimo was convinced that he would always remember what his father had said throughout his life. A true swordsman is someone who can awaken the spirituality within the sword and gain spiritual recognition. Su Zimo did not initially pay attention to this sentence in his previous life. In his view, any weapon is just a tool for killing, and there is no need to give it any other meaning. Until the moment when Baing was cut off by the weapons of the protagonist Chu Yang in the Battle of Yulongjian. At the moment when the knife broke, Su Zimo truly felt the mournful cry from the weapons. At that time, he suddenly woke up, but unfortunately it was too late. Later, Su Zimo returned to the small courtyard where he lived, sat cross-legged, and began to practice. In his past life, he first practiced the Three Sabers Emperor's Silence Decision. After practicing until he reached the realm of the Imperial Pulse, Su Zimo finally embarked on his own path of martial arts. Abandoning the decision of silence, he began to study, reason, and create a new and unique method of his own. Su Zimo named his own martial arts technique Only I, Great Self-Determination. This cultivation method focuses on the past, present, and future. Once accomplished, one can trace the origin of time, connect with their past selves and future eras, spanning several time and space. Unfortunately, in his past life, after deducing this cultivation technique to the realm of divine meridians, Su Zimo found that he had a knot in his heart and could not go any further. That's why he went to find Chu Yang but felt conflicted, but didn't expect to be defeated so miserably. But this rebirth gave Su Zimo a glimmer of inspiration for the future and past. He believes that he can definitely improve his martial arts and step into the level above the divine meridian realm. Inferring one's own techniques is the ultimate path that every pulse practitioner must take, because no matter how strong the techniques left by others, they can only learn from them and cannot fully fit you. Su Zimo continued to deduce and practice until dawn, standing up and stretching lazily. Despite staying up all night, he still feels energetic. This is the benefit of cultivation. He is now on the ninth level of the mortal realm and even if he doesn't sleep for seven days and seven nights, at most he just feels a little tired. As the sky brightened, Lin Ruhu arrived at Yen Nan Peak early and came to play with Su Zimo. He was carrying a large burlap bag behind him, 
with a sly expression on his face. He turned around two times, as if he was secretly on guard. Rohu, what's wrong with you? Su Zimo asked curiously after finishing his wash. Brother Zimo, I'll show you something good, Lin Rohu chuckled and opened the sack on his back. I saw two unconscious chicks quietly inside. These two chickens are all golden yellow in color, with deep purple crowns and neatly arranged feathers in rows. The tail has a touch of bright red. The beak of the chicken is like jade, transparent and pure. The first impression these two chickens give is extraordinary. The holy chicken of medicine. Su Zimo asked in surprise, where do you come from? Ah, uh, I went to the Tianxia Peak of the Elder to play with Liao Ruyin in the morning, and then saw these two chickens being discarded on the ground. I felt sorry for them, so I took them out by hand, Lin Ruhu said with innocent big eyes flashing. Are you stealing this? Su Zimo said suspiciously. How can a scholar's business be called stealing, Lin Ruhu retorted in frustration, I just picked it up by hand. It doesn't matter to me, I'm the beloved pet of the elder, Su Zimo smiled calmly and said to Lin Ruhu, I heard that the holy chicken of medicine has been raised by taking spiritual medicine since childhood, and every piece of their meat contains a strong spiritual energy. Coincidentally, there are two of them, one braised and steamed continuously. Okay, okay, Lin Ruhu licked her lips and said excitedly. It's a bit wasteful to use ordinary firewood to braise this medicinal holy chicken, Su Zimo thought for a moment and said to his guard Zhang Zhongtian, you go to the ancient medicine peak and chop some branches of the spirit tree. Young master, those spiritual trees and ancient medicines are all the flesh of the second elder's heart, Zhang Chongtian said awkwardly. If the second elder finds out that I have cut his branches, he will definitely peel my skin. No, Su Zimo explained, during this period, the second elder should be peeking at those female disciples' showers outside the door and won't notice you. Zhang Zhongtian hesitated for a moment before saying, Young master, if anything really happens, you have to make decisions for me. They are all your people now. Don't worry, there's no problem with me, Su Zimo assured. Also, you're my guard, not my person. It's easy for others to misunderstand if you clarify the relationship. Chapter 9, Zhuge Tsuihua You are listening at NovelFull.audio after Zhang Zhongtian left, Su Zimo and Lin Ruhu also began preparations. Boil water, kill chicken, pluck hair, and prepare seasoning. When Zhang Zhongtian secretly returned with a bunch of spiritual branches, Su Zimo and the others also finished their preparations. Why has it been so long? Su Zimo asked curiously. After watching the excitement for a while, Zhang Chongtian smiled and said, Yesterday, Elder Air went to sneak a peek at the female disciple taking a shower, but was caught. The second elder had a sudden inspiration and transformed into the appearance of his eldest disciple Xiao Xingha. Now Xiao Xingha himself is being pursued by the female disciples of the entire sect. With such a master, senior brother Xiao is also unlucky, Lin Ruhu said with a smile. Su Zimo lit the branches of the spiritual tree, then set up a shelf and placed a medicinal holy chicken on top for barbecue. In the other pot, there is steaming, which includes not only medicinal chicken, but also some other ingredients such as dragon spirit grass, tianxin flour, and refreshing mint. The branches of the spiritual tree were ignited, and a faint fragrance came from inside, causing the boiling water to boil. At this moment, the maid Chun Chao walked over and said, Young master, the granddaughter of the elder, Liao Ruyin, has arrived. She said she has something to do with you. In the courtyard of Yen Nan Peak where Su Zimo resides, in addition to him and his guard Zhang Chong Tian, there are also two maids who take care of his daily life. Spring dawn and summer autumn. Let her in, Su Zimo said. After a while, Liao Ruyin walked over with a young dark tiger in his hand. Her hands were gripping the necks of the dark tiger cubs, and as she casually lifted them, the two cubs looked loveless. I promised you the bet and brought it to you. From then on, we'll be clear, said Liao Ruyin. Her eyes were slightly red, 
and she looked as if she had just cried, with a very dejected expression. Who bullied you? Lin Ruhu asked curiously. I lost the two chicks that were born by the holy chicken of the medicine path at home, Liao Ruyin said wrongly. I even played with them yesterday. Lin Ruhu looked at the barbecue grill next to him, as well as the pot with boiling water. After a moment of silence, he began to look up at the sky. As Liao Ruyin was about to cry as he spoke, Su Zimo sighed and said, Ruyin, I thought you were an exceptionally intelligent girl, but I didn't expect you to be so foolish. What does it mean? Liao Ruyin asked curiously with her big eyes open. Every creature has its own path to follow, Su Zimo shook his head and said, Chicken will eventually die, either from brazing or steaming. But no matter what it died for, as long as it dies for what it deserves and has value, then its death is meaningful and worth it, do you understand? Oh, I understand, Liao Ruyin nodded in confusion and said, then I won't look for it. Searching for it thousands of times in the crowd, suddenly looking back, the chicken was right in the dimly lit area, Su Zimo said. There are some things that you can't find as you search for them. When you don't want to find them anymore, maybe they will appear automatically. Liao Ruyin nodded seriously and said, I understand. Rohu, let's have each of these two young black tiger's cubs, Su Zimo said to Lin Rohu. At this time, the dark heavenly tiger was still young, the same size as a domestic cat, and even looked very similar to a cat, except for two pairs of wings as thin as cicada wings. The whole body is dark and covered in checkered stripes, giving it a special kawaii look. At this moment, two dark heavenly tigers were rolling on the ground, one cute and playful, while the other fiercely bit Su Zimo's shoelace. It is said that from a young age, one can see the personality of a creature as it grows up from its behavior in childhood. This rolling and cute dark tiger has no future at first glance, while the other one that bites the shoelace will surely grow up to be very fierce and a powerful mount. So Su Zimo wisely chose the cute rolling one. Dark Tiger, MMP. Brother Zimo, why don't you give these two cubs a name, suggested Lin Rohu. As descendants of the imperial bloodline demon beasts, they will surely carry the glory of their ancestors. One day, their names will spread throughout the world, shaking the heavens and sweeping across the eight wastelands. Therefore, it is necessary to give them a more domineering name, Su Zimo said solemnly as he looked into the sky, from today on, your two names will be called. Zhuge Tsuehua, Situ Gudun. Lin Rohu. Liao Ruyin. Two Dark Tigers. Miao Ah, Miao Ah, Lin Rohu paused for a moment before suddenly clapping his hands and exclaiming, although this name only has a few words, its grammar is rigorous, its vocabulary is neat, its structure is clever, and it is catchy. The extremely fitting expression of the celebrity's blessings and deep-rooted emotions towards small animals can be described as concise and shocking. Every word is precious, every word is mysterious, and every word evokes tears. It is evident that celebrities have a solid foundation in writing, as well as effortless writing skills and innovative abilities, which are truly admirable. The ending with an exclamation mark is truly the finishing touch, with a brilliant and profound artistic conception. It echoes the previous text, elevates the theme, and fully expresses the emotions of selecting celebrities. It gives people infinite emotion and melancholy, with a natural feeling, and is actually the ultimate in naming and the ultimate in blessing. After Lin Ruhu finished speaking, he saw everyone's expressions of anger and asked in response, Am I wrong? Su Zimo truly understood what it meant to be invincible in the world without shame. Yes, you're right, the other few people responded with tears and laughter. At this moment, the medicinal holy chicken on the grill had already been roasted golden, emitting a crackling sound. The oil on top rolled down bit by bit, and Su Zimo quickly sprinkled the seasoning on it. The particularly tempting aroma wafted around, and the four of them instinctively licked their lips. Oh by the way, Sister Ruyin, are you feeling better now? Su Zimo asked. It's much better, Liao Ruyin stared at the roasted chicken, his stomach growling. If you have nothing else to do, then you can leave first. 
We're still busy here, so we won't entertain you for now, Lin Ruhu said with a smirk. I don't have much to do either. I'm just idle and it's boring to go back, Liao Ruyin said nonchalantly. I haven't eaten yet, don't mind if I eat. Are we very familiar with you? Lin Ruhu pouted. If you don't give me food, I'll report you to the second elder, Liao Ruyin snorted coldly. Don't think I didn't see it. The branches you burned are from the seven star sky mang tree of the heavenly stair spirit tree. Only when this type of tree burns will it burst with stars. Oh my, I have a little temper, Su Zimo stood up and said, I don't eat hard when I eat soft. If you beg me well, maybe I can still agree. Are you threatening me? Tiger like, close the door, release dog eggs and emerald flowers. Chapter 10 The Story Has Started you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Brother Zimo, why don't you give them something to eat, whimpering. Liao Ruyin quickly coquettishly said as she looked at this posture. If you become a licking dog now and praise me so much, I will promise you, Su Zimo snorted coldly and said. I refuse. People like me don't bend over for food, and I absolutely can't open my eyes and talk nonsense, Liao Ruyin said seriously as she looked at Su Zimo. I have always believed that words are the most charming thing in this world. But your handsomeness is beyond words to describe, as if at a glance it is a kind of blasphemy towards you. Oh no, it's a feeling of excitement. Hurry up and turn your head, don't let me see your handsome face. I'm afraid my dear will crash too fast. What should I do if it dies? What's the big truth? Su Zimo angrily glanced at Liao Ruyin and said, I'll reward you with a chicken leg later. Lin Rohu and Zhang Chong Tian beside them silently recited in their hearts, you stink and don't want to face it. One dares to praise, and the other dares to accept with peace of mind. Everyone extinguished the fire and then brought up two chickens. The surface of the braised medicinal dish of holy chicken has turned golden yellow, making it appetizing at first glance. As soon as the lid of the pot was opened, a strong aura came to the steamed chicken, as if all the essence were concentrated in the pale soup. Come on, dry this bowl of chicken soup, Su Zimo raised his bowl and said loudly. When the chicken was eaten, Su Zimo could clearly feel the warmth inside his body, with a particularly strong spiritual energy flowing through his body. The realm is almost uncontrollable and is about to break through the spiritual realm. A few people were all full of food, and after finishing, they only felt energetic all over, as if there was endless strength, as if becoming an immortal and achieving enlightenment was as refreshing. Where did you buy this chicken? It's really delicious. When I go back, I'll ask my grandfather to buy it for me, Liao Ruyin asked while nibbling on the chicken legs. Don't talk, can't you stop eating? Su Zimo shouted back. At this time, the Qingshan Peak where Su Qingshan is located, a famous woman stepped out of the air and landed at the top of the Qingshan Peak. The woman was dressed in purple, with a graceful figure that was clearly visible. Her long hair was coiled behind her head and tied with a blue headband. Her face was delicate, and she exuded a cold and domineering aura that made people dare not look at her directly. Elder Lu, what's up? Su Qingshan turned around and asked. This woman is the sixth elder of the Zhenwu holy sect, known as the Haoyue fairy, and her real name is Xiaoyue Xian. In the Zhenwu holy sect, from the grand elder to the five elders, these five elders have all reached the holy meridian realm after practicing for thousands of years. Coupled with their qualifications and expertise, they have worked hard and achieved great success, thus being promoted to one of the seven elders. The six elders and seven elders, including Vice Patriarch Su Qingshan, are all talented and have only practiced for over a hundred years before advancing to the Holy Vein Realm. Relying on strong strength and impressive talent, I have achieved my current position, which can be said to be a hard-fought effort. Vice Patriarch, I may be going out of the sect soon, Xiao Yuexian said coldly. In the past, when I was not practicing, I relied on a sister for survival. But later on, I was determined to enter the path of martial arts and become a disciple of the true martial saint sect, 
so I accidentally cut off contact with her. Now that I have achieved success in my cultivation, I always miss her late at night and think of going out of the sect to search for her. It's okay, go ahead, Su Ching Shan waved his hand and said. The management of the Zhenwu holy sect is strict. Generally, when disciples leave the sect, they need to report to the higher authorities. When those internal and external elders leave, they also need to follow up with those at the same level to seek advice. As for the seven core elders, they usually go directly to talk to the sect leader or deputy sect leader. Of course, Su Ching Shan would not deliberately make things difficult and refuse to leave. Ultimately, it is just a formality. A sect is a place of belonging in the hearts of many people, but it is also a small group with rules. It is impossible for you to come and go as you please, and it is entirely up to your will to act. Unless one day you can forcefully ignore the rules. After leaving the Jinwu holy sect, Xiao Yuexian headed east all the way. She walked in the air, her gaze bright and profound, her purple clothes swaying slightly in the wind, and a cloud-like aura wrapped around her. When passing through a forest, all the monsters below trembled with fear. On Yennan Peak, Su Zimo stood on the mountaintop, looking towards the east direction. Chu Yang, you should also be about to embark on the path of cultivation at this time, Su Zimo's mouth curved into a strange smile. The protagonist appears, and the female protagonist is also about to open the curtain of this grand story. He looked at the skyline, as if his thoughts had returned to the unforgettable past in his past life. Bilixio, Bilixio, in your past life, you deceived me for so long. After using it up, you kicked me into the abyss and transformed me into a female protagonist. In this life, let's start over again, and now the dominance of this game is in my hands. Su Zimo laughed and walked down Yennan Peak, all the way towards his father's Qingshan Peak. In fact, he is not worried about anything, but rather has a fresh sense of excitement. Every story has a protagonist and villain, who are always loved by the heavens and possess the aura of immortality, adventure, and charm. In short, they are like undead Xiaoqiang, always able to turn misfortune into good fortune. Even if they fall off a cliff, they will not die. They will also find some divine martial arts secrets and teach them martial arts when they meet an old man. They never lack girls around them, as long as they are good-looking, they will be taken into the harem and obedient to the protagonist. Moreover, these girls come from terrifying backgrounds. And what about the villain? They are always tragic characters, playing poorly with a good hand, and ultimately losing their family and becoming a stepping stone for the protagonist's rise. And Su Zimo believes that the reason why the protagonist can rise is also because the setting of the villain is too brainless. Although they can use their absolute strength to kill the protagonist with all their might, they prefer to send some passers-by, A, B, C, and D, to deliver experiences. If the protagonist is raised to be chubby, by the time the villain takes it seriously, the protagonist is actually already fully fledged and starting to rise. Su Zimo chuckled lightly and said, In my past life, I was just that kind of brainless villain. Su Zimo now knows all the secrets of the protagonist Chu Yang, including the small village where Chu Yang is currently located. If Su Zimo wants to kill Chu Yang, now is the best opportunity, he doesn't need to dispatch any subordinates. Su Zimo can directly seek help from his father Su Qingshan. A powerful person in the Holy Vein realm personally takes action, not to mention that Chu Yang is the protagonist. Even if he has ten lives, it is not enough. The protagonist's luck will protect him, but this protection also has its limits. If there is no limit to protection, the protagonist will rise to waste material and can directly go to those big sects to die in the early stage. Anyway, with Qi protection, they won't die. Why do they have to gradually cultivate from the bottom and then move forward to higher levels step by step? An attack from a powerful person in the Holy Vein realm, even with the presence of an old grandfather who reincarnates, is impossible to escape. 